Peace, peace, family. I am back. Peace, peace, family. Love and light. I am back. I am back with another quick video. I hope you guys were able to catch my video uh, that I just completed. Um, ending out our book series for the month of September, The Game of Life and How to Play It. And uh, I was just sitting here and I said, I think tomorrow um, it's going to be the full moon. Y'all know I keep up with the moon and its phases. So I said I will come back and share with you guys because a lot of people um, don't really keep up with the moon and the phases of the moon and the names of the moon and all of that but some people do and you know someone might be looking to find out when is the next full moon what is the name of the next full moon and i thought i would share it here on my channel just in case someone is searching youtube um this video will help them okay all right y'all come on in the room come on in the room give me some likes thumbs up thumbs up like this video, share this video, make sure you subscribe to my channel. Please subscribe to my channel. Hit the notification bell twice. That way, whenever I go live or whatever I do on my channel, you will be here for it. Okay, let me just put uh, my little banner up here. The full moon 2020 calendar. Okay, let me just... One second, I'm going to change that to 2020 full moon calendar. Give me one second. Okay. Uh, I think that's going to do it. Okay, now. Bloop. All right. <laughs> the full moon, 2020 full moon calendar. I am going to be, in this video, I am going to be um, letting you guys know when the full moon is. Uh, we only have about three months left because today is the end of September. So we have October, November, and December left. But what I would do uh, in this video is I'm going to give just a little history of the moon and uh, its phases, its names, uh, different months. You know, you have the blue moon, the wolf moon, the strawberry, strawberry moon, the harvest moon, all of that. So I am going to go over all of that with you guys and um, hope you enjoy this video and I hope you will watch the replay. For those of you that uh, did not get a chance to catch the slide, please watch the uh, replay. Leave me some comments, likes. Um, definitely share the video and subscribe to my channel, okay? All right, let's go ahead and get started. 2020 full moon calendar. I am taking these excerpts excuse me, from space.com. And um, this video is protected by the Fair Use Act of 1976 for education and news reporting. Okay. All right. The moon shows its full face to Earth about once a month. Well, sort of. Most of the time, the full moon isn't perfectly full. We always see the same side of the moon, but parts of it is in the shadow. Only when the moon, earth, and the sun are perfectly aligned is the moon 100% full. And that alignment produces a lunar eclipse. And sometimes, once in a blue moon, the moon is full twice in a month or four times in a season, depending on which definition you prefer. Okay, the next full moon, okay, you guys, because I myself, I thought it was the second. So that's, I went and looked it up. So that's what, you know, inspired me to do the video. The next full moon occurs Thursday, October the 1st uh, at 5.05 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. But the moon will appear full the night before. Hmm. And after its peak to the casual stargazer. 
Okay, so I will be looking in the sky. I noticed last night, last night moon, um, it was pretty light in the sky because I did, I left my window um, plans open for probably to about 10 o'clock and it was still, it was still kind of bright in the sky. So I will be watching the sky tonight to see how full the moon is going to be. Okay, all right. October's full moon is known as the harvest moon though it has many other nicknames by different cultures, okay? This is when the full moon will occur in 2020, according to NASA, okay? We've already went through these months, but I'm gonna go ahead and I'm going to just go back over them um, for whatever reason someone might wanna know. Okay, January the 10th was the wolf moon. February the 9th was the snow moon. March the 9th was the worm moon. April the 7th was the pink moon. May the 7th was the flower moon. June the 5th was the strawberry moon. July the 5th was the buck moon. August the 3rd was the sturgeon moon. September the 2nd was the corn moon. October the 1st, Tomorrow will be the harvest moon at 5.05 p.m. October the 31st will be the blue moon. We have two full moons coming up in October. Uh, Halloween night, there will be a blue moon shining in the sky. November the 30th will be the be beaver moon. And December the 29th will be the cold moon. Okay. All right. Let's move right along. Additional full moon names. Many cultures have given distinct names to each month's full moon. The names were applied to the entire month in which each occurred. The farmer's almanac. Y'all remember the almanac? Y'all did y'all grandparents or mother have the almanac? My mother used that almanac. I'm telling you like it was her Bible. <laughs> the farmer's almanac lists several names that are commonly used in the United States. There are some variations in the moon's name, but in general, the same ones were used among the Algonquin tribes from New England on the west of on the west to Lake Superior. European settlers followed their own customs and created some of their own names. Other Native Americans American people had different names. In the book, The Day in North American Indian History, the Capo Press 2002, author Phil Constantine lists more than 50 native peoples and their names for the full moons. He also lists them on his website, AmericanIndian.net. Amateur astronomer Keith Cooley has a brief list of the moon names of other cultures, including Chinese and Celtic on his website. For example, <clears throat> let's go over some um, Chinese moon names. Okay, for the month of Jan January, the name of the moon uh, in the Chinese culture is holiday moon. February is the budding moon. March is the sleepy moon. April is the peony moon. May is the dragon moon. June is the lotus moon. July is the hungry ghost moon. August is the harvest moon. September is the chrysanthemum moon. October is the kindly moon. November is the white moon and December is the bitter moon. Full moon names often correspond to seasonal markers. So a harvest moon occurs at the end of the growing season in September or October. And the cold moon occurs in frosty December. At least that's how it works in the Northern Hemisphere. In the Southern Hemisphere, where the seasons are switched, the harvest moon occurs in March and the cold moon is in June. According to earthsky.org, these are common names for full moons south of the equator. January, hay moon, buck moon, thunder moon, mead moon. February, midsummer. This, now this is in other, um, this, this is the south of the, of the equator. February, which is midsummer there. Grain moon, sturgeon moon, red moon, wart moon, 
corn moon, dog moon, barley moon. March is the harvest moon and the corn moon. <clears throat> Excuse me. April is the harvest moon, hunter's moon, blood moon. May is the hunter's moon, beaver moon, frost moon. June, oak moon, cold moon, long night's moon. July, wolf moon, old moon, ice moon. August, snow moon, storm moon, hunger moon, and wolf moon. September, warm moon, Lenten moon, crow moon, sugar moon, chase moon, sap moon. October, Egg moon, fish moon, seed moon, pink moon, walking moon. November, corn moon, milk moon, flower moon, hair moon. Hair, H-A-R-E, like the rabbit hair. Okay, December is the strawberry moon, honey moon, rose moon. Oh my goodness, I would love to see the honey moon and the rose moon. Okay, just a phase. The moon is a sphere that travels once around earth every 27.3 days it also takes about 27 days for the moon to rotate on its axis so the moon always shows us the same face there is no single dark side quote unquote of the moon as the moon revolves around the earth it is illuminated from varying angles by the sun what we see when we look at the moon is reflected sunlight. On average, the moon rises about 50 minutes later each day, which means sometimes it rises during daylight and other times at night. At new moon, the moon is between Earth and the sun. So that side, that's the side, excuse me, that so that the side of the moon facing towards us receives no direct sunlight and is lit only by dim sunlight reflected from Earth. A few days later, as the moon moves around the Earth, the side we can see gradually becomes more illuminated by direct sunlight. This thin sliver is called the waxen crescent. A week before the new moon, the moon is 90 degrees away from the sun in the sky and is half illuminated from our point of view what we call first quarter, because it is about a quarter of the way around the Earth. A few days later, the area of illumination continues to increase. More than half of the moon's face appears to be getting sunlight. This phase is called a waxing gibbous moon. When the moon has moved 180 degrees from its new moon position, the sun, Earth, and the moon form a line. The moon's disk is as close it is, as it can be to being fully illuminated by the sun. So this is called the full moon. Next, the moon moves until more than half of its face appears to be getting sunlight, but the amount is just decreasing. This is the wanting gibbous gibbe face. Days later, the moon has moved another quarter of the way around the earth to the third quarter position. The sun's light is now shining on the half, on the other half of the visible face of the moon. Next, the moon moves into the wine crescent phase as less than half of its face appears to be getting sunlight and the amount is decreasing. Finally, the moon moves back to its new moon starting position. Because the moon's orbit is not exactly in the same plane as Earth's orbit around the sun, they rarely are perfectly aligned. Usually the moon phase passes above or below the sun from our vantage point, but occasionally it passes right in front of the sun and we get an eclipse of the sun. Each full moon is calculated to occur at an exact moment which may or may not be near the time the moon rises where you are. So when a full moon rises, it's typically doing so some hours before or after the actual time when it's technically full. But a casual sky watcher won't notice the difference. In fact, the moon would often look roughly the same on two consecutive nights surrounding the full moon. 
All right, you guys, just want to come in and share that little bit about the moon for you sky watchers like myself. <laughs> I'm sure there are many of sky watchers here on YouTube, and I hope this information um, is of some value to you. And I thank you guys for joining me once again. I think I am done with my videos for today. <laughs> Make sure y'all like this video, share this video again, subscribe to my channel, hit the notification bell twice. That way, whenever I go live or whatever I do on my channel, you'll be here for it. Peace, peace, family. Have a great evening. Ashe, Ashe, Ashe. Namaste. Namaste.